What's going on guys? It's the Honda Baron coming to you with another video today and uh, in this video I want to talk about my beautiful Honda CB500X. Specifically I want to talk about the three things I don't like about it and yes there are only three main things. And just before I start one of the things I'm going to discuss is the exhaust. So take a look at the exhaust right here. Nice and shiny. Take a look at the rest of the bike. It's matte, dark, even the, the engine and the, uh, the guards down here. A little bit matte. Take a look at that. Take it in and we will get to that in a minute. It's actually a bit windy here even with the uh, helmet on so hopefully it's not too windy on today's ride. Yeah we're down here at the uh, HMCS Haida. It's a uh, old World War II I think battleship. It's all under construction right now. You can see it down there. But the point of today's ride is to talk about the CB500X so let's hop on and get out of here. So, like I mentioned, I want to talk about the main, or the only three things I do not like about my, uh, about the CB500X. So I have the, uh, 2014 CB500X with ABS. You can, uh, check out my review of the bike. I'll link it up above. Check out these geese, eh? What the heck's going on here? Let me through! Let me through. Thank you guys. Yeah, so there's only uh, three main things that I don't really like about the, well, it wouldn't be a deal breaker for somebody, but they are the three main issues, not problems, but three things I just generally don't like about my, uh, about the Honda CB500X. So the first thing I mentioned right when I started was the exhaust. Now you guys saw that exhaust, right? Um, I'll actually post a picture of my bike. See how shiny that exhaust is? I don't know guys, in my opinion, it doesn't really match the uh, the rest of the look of the bike. I mean, you've got the matte colorway, you've got the camouflage, right? It's all silver and dark and gray and ominous. And then you have that super bright, reflective, aluminum exhaust. Now, when I first got the bike, I didn't really think too much of it. But now having owned it for a little while, it kind of peeves me. When I look at the bike and, you know, the sun is reflecting in my eyes off the exhaust or I'm just looking at it I'm thinking something is uh something doesn't match and now for me it's the exhaust that doesn't match now I know I know you can change them right oh we're stuck at a train so I know you can change the exhaust like I realize that's possible instead of waiting we're gonna take some of these back streets here see what's going on in the hood road closed yeah but how close is closed we're about to find out. I know you can change the exhaust, but it's a lot of money, you guys. It's like probably what three or four hundred dollars Canadian for the new exhaust. And I don't mind how it sounds. Right? It's not the sound. I like the sound of the bike. It's like it's like a sewing machine. Got some gravel. It sounds like a sewing machine. You know, it's quiet. It's not going to annoy the neighbors. I like how it sounds. Wah! Especially when you get up into the. Uh, higher RPMs there. It's got a nice, you know, aggressive guttural sound. I like it overall, but what I just don't like is the color, you know? I don't like how they made it shiny instead of uh, to match the rest of the, uh, you know, subdued, darker tones. Oh, these roads are bad. The rest of the darker tones of the uh, motorcycle, you know? And guys, like, where am I? This is like a maze back here. I don't live too far from here, but I'm like completely lost. I just want to get back to the main street or something. Yeah, so I think one of the first upgrades or, you know, changes that I'll be doing is going to be to the exhaust. The stock exhaust also is pretty heavy. I think it is definitely weighing down the bike on the, uh, on the right hand side there. And I think that's going to play, uh, I think it's going to have an impact on how she handles in the twisties. how she handles overall, maybe make it a bit more nimble. And uh, I don't know if I'd go with a louder exhaust, I mean, maybe a little bit louder. I will talk about uh, the stance I have on the Loud Pipes Save Lives uh, topic in a uh, future video. Yeah, it's just the color. I don't think it matches the rest of the bike, right? Go ahead. It's just the color. I don't think it matches the rest of the bike, right? And uh, for me, looking at it now, it really stands out. Stand out for you guys that own this bike. You know, not really the biggest problem, but uh, uh, an issue nonetheless. But thankfully something that's easy to fix. So definitely in the future I will be thinking about putting on a different exhaust 
but for now I'll leave it the same. So the second thing I don't like about the bike in first gear and like the uh, the bottom part of second gear right like at the lower rpms it's uh it, it's a bit like jerky you know it doesn't really it kind of wobbles uh, not really wobbles but it jerks especially in first gear the bike is really jerky and you got to be really on your game when it comes to uh clutch control right you need to feather that clutch or else it's going to be jerking all over the place so not really a big deal if you rip it out of uh first gear like i usually do it's taking me forever to get out of downtown i hate it but uh so first gear is like is the worst one it's kind of uh it's kind of shuddery it likes to shudder i've checked the chain uh, maybe i'm not giving it enough power you know and i also find the same issue at the lower range of uh of second gear it's a bit shuddery there for me um but even now see so i'm at 3000 rpms but it, uh, it still shudders a bit depending on like what you're trying to do. You really got to be working that clutch or else it, uh, it will shudder and it can uh, give you a little bit of a fright, you know? I've checked the chain. I try to shift like at better RPMs. And if you give her, it's fine, right? Like if you give her into first or if you give her from first into second and from second into third, I don't notice it at all. But for a lot of the times, it's not really practical riding. You can't really just be you know full throttle every gear or else it's uh it's not good for fuel economy and uh maybe add a little bit more wear and tear unnecessary wear and tear so i like to kind of feather it a bit especially if you're in traffic you can't you don't really have a choice like here see there you know i don't really notice it but when you're going slower like through downtown if you're stuck in traffic i find that it shudders a bit look at this clown I find that it shudders a bit and uh, again not really a big deal like I said I've checked the chain I've checked everything else maybe it's just my my driving style but uh, just one of the you know the second thing that I don't like about the uh, Honda CB500X not a deal breaker by any means I'm used to my uh, CBR300R where it had really had a really responsive uh, clutch and throttle it didn't really shudder at all you know maybe it also could be the bigger engine that i'm not used to yeah that's just the uh the second thing i don't like about the honda cb500x and now the third and final thing that i don't like about the uh, bike is the awful stock windscreen and now when i bought it the windscreen was in its highest position um you can see the mounts here here and here it was in the highest position and anything above like say 50 kilometers an hour which i think is like 30 uh 30 miles per hour anything above that and then the wind was just blasting you right in the chest right in the bottom of the helmet so the helmet was like bobbing all around everywhere it was very unpleasant so i looked it up and it is a common problem with the honda cb500x i think the earlier ones now the later ones have uh seem to have resolved the issue or the later the newer ones i haven't ridden one but if you look at the newer ones in the window uh in the windshield windscreen whatever it has two holes that allow wind to flow through it a little bit more efficiently um, and what I think was happening was the wind was flowing underneath there's a space between the bike and the uh, and the windscreen or windshield whatever that was uh, sending the wind right at you and uh, it made for very unpleasant riding and now I think I fixed it like uh, for the most part you can still feel buffeting at uh, highway speeds which is also very unpleasant but uh, only if you're going like say 130 140 if you're cruising at 110 it's okay I don't really take the highway that often it's uh, not the best for riding I don't like riding in straight lines like that but that was a big concern and a big issue with the uh, stock windscreen it's like it's like they didn't test it right and what I did to alleviate that was uh, I've actually lowered the rinse screen on the front to the lowest that it'll go with the top two bolts. Now I show that in my review, which I've already linked, but I'll link up above again. Um, I've alleviated that by lowering it as low as it can go uh, on the bike. So there's four bolts, there's four holes for the bolts, right? And uh, I'm only using the top two in their lowest possible uh, setting. So not ideal, but it's the solution I have for now. I'm actually going to try riding it without the windscreen, um, without the windshield eventually, see how much of a difference that makes. But that's what I've done to alleviate the problem. I know you can buy aftermarket windscreens, 
but those are uh, those are kind of pricey, you know, like a few hundred bucks for the windscreen. Not really an upgrade I want to do just yet. Um, but other than that, you guys, those are the only three problems and only three concerns that I've had with the uh, Honda CB500X. Apart from that, I love the bike. I think it's a great bike for the type of riding I do. Um, it's perfect, right? I, uh, I, I couldn't ask for more. It's a, it's a huge upgrade from my other bike, my uh, CBR300R, and I absolutely love it. I'm saying this now, but you know, people, uh, people change, but I don't think I'll ever sell it. It's like, it's a definite workhorse, and for the kind of riding I do, the touring, you know, local day rides, sometimes commuting, it's, uh, it's absolutely perfect. And yeah, so that's basically what I want to talk about in this video. Three things I don't like about the uh, Honda CB500X. I covered them all. And yeah, I'm interested in hearing your guys' opinion. Um, especially those of you that have a CB500X. Do you agree with these, uh, with these problems? Like, are these the issues you have? Are there any issues um, that you have that uh, I didn't mention? You know, what are the things you don't like about this bike? I'd love to hear your thoughts. So definitely let me know your uh, your opinion down in the comments below and as always you guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to click that subscribe button you can stay up to date with uh, my future videos i hope you have a wonderful day or a wonderful night wherever you are and uh yeah thanks for watching and we will catch you guys in the next video